everyone! Hi guys! So we're here to talk about Luan Levy EXO and a few other things. Um, well first of all we literally made this like exact same video last week talking mm -hmm. about Jessica. You guys know how I feel about SM, you know how we feel about this whole thing. Like by now everyone should have a fuck SM tweet saved in their drafts. Like exactly. it's no, it's no surprise. Um, he left just for the same reasons why Chris left. He was mistreated, probably didn't feel like... I mean, I know a lot of people were saying that, like, they feel like the Chinese members don't get as treated as well as the Korean. Korean members, even with promoting and doing side gigs and all that stuff. Last night, there was a lot of support for Luhan, which is great, which is awesome because a lot of times when people leave, they get, like, dogged out. Yeah. yeah, they get dogged out. Like, for instance, when Chris left EXO, mm. he got dogged out he was a traitor he was the bad chinese member he ruined exo he was he was all kinds of things girl think, a lot, think, a lot of, things. think of a four little word that was chris when he left exo or that's how a lot of people reacted and seeing like the crazy difference in how when luhan left and chris left when both were being mistreated. They're both leaving for the same reason. Yeah, they're both basically, basically leaving for the same reasons, but people said it was just bad timing for Chris and that the other members didn't know and it was just before their world tour and it was like just a horrible thing. Now, when it comes to being a victim of something, there's not never really like a good opportunity to get out. Yeah. Like if you want to break up with your boyfriend, it's like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna break with him tomorrow because it's his birthday. I'm gonna do it the day after, the day after. and then it's it won't just, be as bad. He like, may beat me again tonight, yeah. but I'll leave tomorrow. It's it's yeah. okay. If you genuinely in your heart are happy that Chris is okay now, he can live a better life. He came into EXO, he wanted to pursue his dream, all those things, and he just, down the line he realized that it wasn't worth it, it yeah. and it was causing him harm, and he was being mistreated by his company, and he wants to leave, whether it's before their world, world tour, tour, in the, the middle, come back, yeah. middle come back, doesn't matter. Like, I don't feel like it's fair to crucify him just because of the time he left. Like, to me that just makes no sense, because at the end of the day, if someone's in a bad situation, you should be happy for them. And they get out. And they get out of and it. And if you truly feel like you care about this person, you should have their back and be like, okay, he's doing it for him. He has his own reasons. Like we always say, we don't know what happens inside those buildings in those rooms. We don't know what they go through. We have an idea of it, but for all we know, it could be ten times worse. Yeah. So, either way, we should support them and not even support Chris and then hate the other members. Like, yeah. just support everyone. Yeah. <gasps> That's a new idea. <laughs> what? Tell me more about this. How does this work? Let's say Jasmine and I have boyfriends. And let's say they're beating us. And let's say that Jasmine decides to break up with him like two days before their wedding. Jasmine's going to get all this fucking hate. She ruined the fucking wedding. You suck. We paid all this money. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You freaking suck. How could you leave him like that? Da -da -da. You didn't even tell him you were going to leave. You just wrote a note and then you left. And then let's say that I go through with the marriage. I get married. And then he beats me to the point to where like I'm in the hospital and I'm on my deathbed. In a coma. Yeah. And then I wake up from my coma and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to leave. People are like, Courtney. You, you leave. do that, girl. Yes. You go. You did that. You know you you finally got up and left after he put you in the hospital. Even though you knew it was a bad situation, even though he was beating you, you went through with that marriage. You still got your ass beat. You still felt like shit you got all your the ass time, beat, girl. He, he broke you down. You felt like shit all the time. You were mistreated, but you know what? You stuck through it. You did that. And you know what? Now everyone knows. That like, it was bad. Courtney that he would be the one on Oprah, and I'd be the one in hiding. <laughs> because everyone was like, oh, I left him at the last minute at the altar, this, that, this, the third. I'd be in witness protection, and he'd be <laughs> on Oprah. Like, I'd be telling my story like, Oprah, it's just... He what? came in the room, and I could just see the rage in his eyes. <laughs> I'll never forget. Like, we're not we're not laughing at We're not domestic. laughing at anyone in that situation, we're not, but we're just trying to make y'all see Exactly how like, stupid it I'm is. I'm Chris right now and she's Luhan. Like come on. Yeah, like we're not laughing at domestic violence or anything like that. We're just talking about how stupid it sounds. This is the type of thing that ends up idols taking their lives. Like committing suicide. This is the type of thing 
like getting that much hate and seeing what people are saying about you can really draw certain people to that point and that's to me why we should support yeah. another reason why we should support them yeah sometimes k-pop fans confuse me because as a k-pop fan you know these idols have hard lives you know they work crazy hours you know that they barely get any sleep like we see them passing out on stages being rushed to the hospital for fatigue and all these different kind of things you see them worn out in these performances a lot of the times and it's like yes don't perform we want you to be okay but then it's like we want to come back right now why don't you do an album this year yeah like what wanting them to have a comeback now but so and so just got out the hospital or broke their leg and they have only been rested up for a week or two and people are like oh my god i'm so sad shiny is not having a comeback this year are you serious first of all they put out <laughs> first, of, first all, of all they put out three albums last year mm. so even if that was the only thing mm. then um they worked their asses off hello yeah number two Taemin still did a solo mm. key still had a subunit mm. they still have had like what two japanese comebacks mm -hmm. they're on tour in japan right now killing that shit and onu had throat surgery so why would you even almost want them to come back exactly even if even if everything was fine i would still feel awkward if shiny had a korean comeback this year because i'm and like they still did all that stuff last year when jungi had like broke his nose and all that stuff yeah. they still did all that stuff i was like even if shiny did have a comeback this year and it like all that stuff didn't even happen like oh new was fine etc etc i'd be like aren't you guys tired right like, you and wanna... you know they are promoting even a solo promotion like what him is doing it's hard work like solo and as a mini like album and all that like come on he's working his butt off all the members are still it's not like they're sitting around doing nothing yeah. they're still doing and even if they so, were yeah let even them. if they were they deserve a break because they've been doing so 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 much and another thing about shiny i don't understand why when these kind of situations happen in sm someone leaves a group or whatever shit's going down the first thing that always pops up the first thing that i always see is well shiny's next shiny's this shiny's that and it's almost to the point where people talk about it so much like do you want it to happen exactly like are you wishing bad on the group because shiny's in japan right now they're chilling mm -hmm. they're on their tour mm -hmm. they're kicking ass mm -hmm. so they ain't tripping so why ain't tripping? Pumpy Are you break. tripping? I ain't tripping. Is Onu tripping? Onu ain't tripping. My <laughs> man show ain't tripping because he just texted me and told me he ain't tripping. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> if something pops off, then we can talk about it. Exactly. But as of right now, I'm gonna go watch some Japanese mm. uh, fan camps. Mm -hmm. Are you, you wanna do that? Yeah. <laughs> At this point in time, like so much is going on and then like I heard people were saying rumors that the other two Chinese members of XOM are gonna like split and then remake a Chinese group with Luhan and Chris. If they're gonna do that, okay. Because like let them XO do it. Will still be XO. Yeah. Let them like if they wanna do that, okay, let them do it. Like I'm just at the point to where I'm so exhausted and I'm so Literally drained. Exhausting. I can't give myself to it anymore because it's so draining. Mm -hmm. Like if they wanna leave, I wish them the best of luck. If they wanna stay, I wish them the best of luck. If they split into two different subunits and one promotes in Antarctica and another one promotes in the North Pole, I wish them the best of luck. Like, I just am so drained. Like, this is draining. Like, it just it's puts It's not a, even my life. Exactly. Like, imagine a, how they feel. Like, I'm just supposed to be looking forward to Vix's comeback. Yeah. And all these things. And I can't even think about that because I'm just so, like, with everything that's going on. So, in a nutshell, mm -hmm. Chris, we're happy for you. Wish you the best of luck. Luhan, happy for you. Wish you the best of luck. Jessica, well, she got kicked out. That's really sad. Jessica, but our I hope, hearts are hope, with you. Our hearts are with we you. We are here for you, girl, even though we don't know you. Yes, you know, girl. We are, you know, you're in our hearts. And yes. we know your fashion line is going to do great. Slinging them sunglasses, girl. Zion T got you. <laughs> <laughs> and we know you're gonna do great in anything that you pursue further after this. And on the other side, we wish Girl Generation well. Mm -hmm. We wish EXO well. TVXQ, Shiny, FX, and for anyone Red Velvet. Yes. Just be happy for everyone. Even if you don't agree, 
that's it's not fine. your position to go to their Instagram and tell them they're a yeah. piece of shit. <laughs> like, what? it's just not. Do you, do you want me to do that to you? <laughs> yeah. How would you feel? So, let us know in the comments all of your opinions and thoughts on the whole entire situation. And let's just discuss. And if this happens again in, like, the next week or so, then we, we already talked about it. You already know how we feel. So, let us know in the comments what you guys think. And... See you guys later. Hopefully on a more positive note. Yeah.